Getting enough omega-3 is crucial for optimal brain performance. But is eating fish really the best way to get omega-3? Or is there another way? Well, let's find out. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. And if this interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Oh, and don't forget to hit that little bell button below as well. Now, today we're gonna talk about the best sources of omega-3. Now, we know that people who supplement omega-3 generally have a better brain performance. Omega-3 also helps people with uh, depression. It is also good for eye health. It generally promotes brain health. It helps people with ADD or ADHD, and it can even improve mental disorders. Now, we talked about other benefits of omega-3 in the video about best brain foods and if those interest you, then check out the video up here. Now, many experts recommend eating two to three servings of fish every week. But is this really the best way or even a healthy way to get omega-3? Well, let's look at the facts. Now, the first fact I wanna share with you is that fish does not synthesize omega-3. Basically, it doesn't make omega-3, but it gets it through eating algae or plankton. So. If you want to get omega-3 by eating fish, you get it indirectly because fish only get it from algae. It's similar to getting vitamin B12 through eating meats nowadays. Why is that so? Well, because most of the vitamin B12 in animals actually come from supplements and not in any other way. But let's go back to fish. Now, is that a problem? Is eating fish really unhealthy or is it healthy? Well, that's very debatable. Now, back in the days where we had very low pollution of our oceans, eating fish was definitely healthier than today. But today we have pollution and this is a big problem. Because whenever you eat fish, there is a high chance you will also eat some PCBs, you will eat some dioxin, you will eat some other toxic compounds such as pesticides, mercury or even microplastics. And all of those toxic compounds can cause severe damage and have a really big negative impact on your health, much bigger compared to the benefits you get from omega-3. And whenever you eat fish, well, there's a high chance of getting some of those compounds with the fish that you eat. Now, if you still want to eat fish, the basic rule is try to eat smaller uh, types of fish, such as uh, sardines, uh, anchovies, uh, because they usually uh, contain less of those toxin compounds but also try to go for wild caught fish and not farmed fish. But with so much pollution, it's really hard to say the next time you're gonna eat fish, it actually won't contain any of the toxic compounds, especially if you eat fish in restaurants. And since our waters are polluted more and more every single day, the chances of eating a fish high in those toxins is getting bigger and bigger from day to day. And the more toxic compounds you intake, your body intakes, the more harm you'll do to yourself, basically. And that's something you should really remember. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Now, the second problem is that, as we have recently seen from documentaries and many articles written on that, overfishing is a big global problem. And the best way to stop or reduce overfishing is by eating less fish. The more fish we eat, the more damage we do to our oceans, and this can have a big impact on the environment, on the global warming, and so on. Also, by eating fish, we, you know, kill all those animals, but I really don't want to talk about this topic in this video because this would require a whole other video for that. So based on those facts, is eating fish really the best way to get omega-3? Well, in my opinion, from the scientific standpoint, not really. The best way to get omega-3 is by taking a supplement, but not a supplement that contains omega-3 fish oil, but a supplement that contains omega-3 from algae, because that's where fish gets omega-3 in the first place. And such supplement from algae has the lowest toxicity, and producing omega-3 in such a way has the lowest impact on the environment and also on the fish itself. So in my opinion, the best way to get omega-3 is from an algae supplement. Now, besides omega-3, are there any other supplements that you absolutely need for optimal brain performance? Well, of course they are. And if you want to learn more about them, check my video up here. 
All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. And hope to see you soon again. Take care.